probably the most exciting thing about the geothermal heat pump installation is the well drilling. Everything else is pretty much like a normal heat pump or furnace installation, but the well drilling for the geo exchange system is pretty interesting. In order to drill the geothermal wells to get the heat from the ground into our house, uh, they went down 300 feet. They dug two wells and each one was 300 feet. That's pretty impressive. That's an entire football field length down right in our little front yard. They started out with a mud bit to go through the first part of the soil, about 25 feet down in our yard, and get to the rock. Once they reached the rock, they shifted over to a rock bit, which was able to cut through the remaining 275 feet of rock that we needed to have the appropriate length for our geothermal well. Essentially what they do is they drill down a certain length of pipe, and then once that pipe was in the ground, then they'd add the other pipe on top of it, and then drill down more until that one was further in the ground. They just keep adding pipe until they got to the bottom of the well. So essentially they had 300 feet of pipe by the time they reached the bottom. It's a relatively messy process, although they really do keep the mess confined to where they're drilling using silt nets and so on. But as they drill down, they need to use water to cool the drill bit and help pull the rock out. And then eventually, at least on our land, about 100 feet down, they hit water. So there's a lot of water coming up, and uh, while they do contain it, it is messy right in that particular area. Once the wells are drilled, they'll run the ground loop tubing down into the wells. Now this is a closed loop. Eventually it'll be filled with a mixture of water and methanol. And what happens is you have pumps in the house, and it pumps the water through the ground where it gets a little warmer, comes back into the house, and the ge geothermal heat pump will pull that heat out, and then the water goes back into the ground where it gets warmed again, and it just cycles that around, and you're pulling heat from the ground into your house. When that ground loop tubing is in the well, and all the way down 300 feet, then they'll take and cap the well off with something called bentonite, and that'll keep any contaminants from getting down into the ground and into that groundwater. Our residential geothermal heat pump installation took place right in the middle of January, and it was quite cold. On the second day, it snowed quite a bit. They just kept drilling right through the snow, and if you think about it, it makes sense. I mean, even if the ground is frozen a little bit, it's probably easier to drill through than the rock that they had to go through to put our wells in. So that's a little bit about our geothermal well drilling. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.